absolve you in the name of the Father. Coming up, join the Franciscan missionaries of the Eternal Word as they celebrate the Daily Mass. Then, stay tuned for an encore of Life on the Rock. It's all ahead on EWTN. This is EWTN, DWAB-TV Channel 24. Ang susunod na programa ay rated PG. Patnubay at gabay ng magulang ay kailangan sa mga batang manunood. I'm Tracy Sable. Tonight on EWTN News Nightly, a recap and reaction to President Joe Biden's first address to Congress. We have team coverage tonight. Plus, the new anti-corruption law at the Vatican, what Pope Francis is changing regarding gifts to Roman Curia officials. Join us for news from a Catholic perspective. Buckle your seatbelts for a crash course in the Saints. Coming up next on EWTN. The priesthood was not my original plan. Um, in fact, in I've always uh, wanted to get married, you know, married a beautiful Catholic girl and have uh, lots of children. That was my original plan, but until 1992, my parents uh, decided to go on a peace flight pilgrimage, and they asked me to be one of their prayer warriors. And I had to, as a prayer warrior, I had to pray uh, the St. Michael's Prayer uh, and the Memorare to Our Lady, and I had to sacrifice something every day uh, for them. And their pilgrimage is really to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the apparition of Our Lady of Fatima uh, in October 13, 1917. And the prayer is easy, but the sacrifice, I wasn't really sure what I was uh, uh, you know, supposed to be doing. And I was working in San Francisco at that time as a systems engineer in electronic data systems. And somehow, um, I believe Our Lady had led me to start going to daily Mass uh, for my parents. And then that's when I started going to daily Mass for sacrifice for them. And then um, I met a sister in there who asked me if I've ever thought about becoming a priest. And she was the very person that asked me that um, in my life. And then, uh, but the mysterious thing too is that after her, more people start asking the same question. And then not until several years that I finally, you know, begin to pray about it. And then I start praying about it, get some spiritual direction. And then finally, um, I made a visit to uh, the Franciscan missionaries of the Eternal Word. And then I just, from my whole visit uh, during the entire week, I just felt at home. And then I finally um, entered and in 1996 of March 25th and then uh, went to the seminary uh, later on, and then I um, was blessed to be ordained uh, on June 5th of 2004. And the priesthood is, is uh, there's a demands uh, to live the call, uh, but also God provide the grace to live that call um, faithfully. Uh, and also, ultimately, He's the one that uh, provide the happiness that only he can give. For information on the priesthood or religious life, log on to www.ewtn.com slash religious life. Join us for the Daily Mass, celebrated each day here on EWTN. This week, Oscar-winning actor Jeff Bridges joins Raymond along with best-selling author Lois Lowry to preview the highly anticipated sci-fi movie, The Giver. They'll examine the movie's pro-life message and problems with utopian philosophy. The World Over Live with Raymond Arroyo, here on EWTN. Come in. Father, may I talk to you? Of course. Sit down, my son. I'm not sure what's going on here, Father, but I see EWTN everywhere I go. 
I see EWTN on cable. I go to a friend's house, he's got it on satellite. Then I get in my car, I hear it on the radio. I go home, it's on my computer. Online, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, my iPod. I, don't misunderstand me. I love EWTN, but it's like it's everywhere. What should I do? What should you do? You should tell everyone. EWTN is everywhere. It's even on my phone. Isn't it great? Yeah. Thanks, Father. I will tell everyone. Oh, I feel so much better.